was recently asked if ultrasonic level measurement technology is problematic because it has a blanking distance. My short answer, no. There is space immediately near the sensor that is called the blanking distance. In this space, signals are being sent and received at the same time. This means that if there was material in this space, it may not be detected, thus possibly overfilling tanks. This is only a problem in theory. In real practice, this is not an issue. Let me explain. First, dangerous materials are never filled to the top of a vessel. There is always a space or buffer zone that sits at the top of the tank. Our ultrasonic devices fit within this space and the 100% fill level is placed at or below this point. Next, good engineering practices and legislation call for the installation of a safety point level switch. Siemens offers a wide selection of switches to choose from. Using radar or ultrasonic technology as your primary level solution still requires alternative technology backup. I'm also asked about flooding conditions. Isn't it possible that conditions inside a tank could cause flooding and thus overflow? Again, the short answer is no. Just as with radar technology, the use of a submergent shield on the transmitter ensures that pumps will turn on and you will avoid flooding. Lastly, I'm also told that some radar devices are now claiming zero blanking distance. Doesn't this make it better than ultrasonics? Again, no. It is true that radar could have zero blanking with ideal, clean conditions and highly reflective targets. But in the real world, how often is this the case? Siemens offers choices for level measurement. Remember that ultrasonic transmitters have a long history which continue to deliver results. They aren't old technology, they remain reliable, consistent, and accurate.